What is going on guys? My name is Hussein and I am here in beautiful Big Bear Lake and uh, I want to take a shot at the video that I made two years ago 2018 titled keep your servers closed and your database closer and uh, now that I slightly know a little bit more than I did two years ago I want to take a shot at making that video again and whether I agree with that or not right and the answer is yes keeping your server closed and your database closer is still a valid thing and uh, how about we talk about it in order to talk about that I want to just break this down into two parts what does first of all what does it mean to have your server close what does that mean first of all the second thing is the client is close to the server that's one part and the second part third part is the servers are even closer to the database and these three portions how about we discuss about it? so close in this case is literally distance we're talking about distance geographical distance and the reason is because if your database or if your server is close to your client geographically right if I am in the in California and your server is in I don't know China then the establishment of a TCP connection will definitely will suffer because the send request will take some time the send ACK will take some time right and the other acknowledgement will also take some time just to establish a connection and then every request I'm just not talking about request the request is broken into packets and each packet need to be acknowledged and that packet sent packet acknowledge right that could take some time and if that request is large you know you need more and more packets right and the more packets you have the longer you have to wait for an acknowledgement so you can send the other packets I mean you can send them in parallel but still so distance really matter why because of latency right we want to make the server close to the client as much as possible so that we have a lower and lower latency so that our requests are faster and faster right that's the idea of fast right lower latency so if I send a request I accept, expect a response real fast <laughs> so that's the first thing making the server closer to the client is important but doesn't have to be so close and let's explain that right so it's okay if your server if your client is in California and your server is let's say the West Coast that's okay because the amount of requests you send between the client and the server are minimum right because it's what do you send right and that's a responsibility of a good client you don't make your application chat I'm, I'm talking about clients that are well behaved JavaScript client or C sharp client or any application client that sends as much as possible small request and as few as possible to do to do the job Ugh. all right so that's the first thing we need the servers to be closer to the client but it doesn't have to be so close right if the application is behaving right as it means if you're sending tons of requests then definitely you is gonna start seeing uh, the performance uh, degradation between the client and the server right however if you look at the other side of the equation from the server the, to the database usually you need to send multiple requests to the database right the server database communication is usually chatty it's very very chatty because you start a transaction and you start usually executing many many queries to form a whole atomic transaction you want to get a query get some results do another form of the query do some result write come back insert many inserts right so you there will be a lot of chattiness between the server and the database so you need your server your database to be even closer my hand hurts I didn't think this through huh <laughs> so yeah you need your database to be very 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 close to your server so that you minimize the latency right so that your application run faster so that's uh, essentially the idea obviously adding caching layers always help but I like to explain things from basic 
principles without adding complexities like caching, right? My hands really hurt, huh? Didn't think this through. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, so that's the idea. Very short video talking about this idea, right? So keep your servers closed. Keep your database even closer. However, can you do something about this? Can you make the server database communication even better? Well, some people prefer database procedures, uh, what's called stored procedures, that does more of the stuff in one shot and then res return response. That also works. However, once you do that, you're kind of locked into the database vendor themselves, right? Because every database uh, stored procedure does things differently. So your application won't scale in a, in a sense that you cannot just shift lift and shift your database to another database vendor if you wanted to you're just locked into the store procedure uh, syntax uh, essentially I, I might be wrong, wrong there all right guys short video talking about that video and i hope i did made a better job i don't think i did but uh giving it a shot all right guys from big bear lake california hussein nasser signing out i don't know what was that about sorry <laughs> goodbye stay awesome